Well, thank you so much for joining us here at the top of the hour. WTOL 11 News at 11. I'm Jeff Smith. An alert day today and tomorrow as wind, rain, and snow impacting the area today. We're going to take a look at the current snow emergency levels as they exist as of 11 o'clock tonight. Let's show you here at home. Lucas, Sandusky, and Wood counties all under a level one snow emergency right now, which means conditions are hazardous. While if you look out to the west, Williams County currently still under that level two snow emergency, and they are asking you to avoid going out on the roads if at all possible. Our time lapse video over the fifth third building here in downtown Toledo as the wind started to blow that snow change over to rain, go to snow, go back to rain throughout the area today. It has been an interesting mix. We've got team coverage for you tonight following the very latest meteorologist Chris Fickers and John Birchfield both with me here in studio. Andre Norrells, he is live in West Toledo, not too far from the University of Toledo, where they're dealing with some power outages tonight. But first, Chris, that wind, it is going to be whipping up some trouble here in the overnight hours, is it not? Yeah, we're expecting those winds really to begin to increase. To add to that, some snow showers will roll back into the area. Bursts of snow possible by daybreak tomorrow. So for many areas that haven't seen much snow, there is the chance we get an additional inch of an accumulation. And the strong winds are going to be a focal point of our Saturday. And that alert day that will continue into your weekend. Wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. It will turn us sharply colder as we go through the next 24 hours. Strong storm system. We highlighted this with an alert day six days ago last weekend. So We've got a powerful winter storm, and here it is knocking on our door. Much of the showers now working to the east. They're still all in the form of liquid, though, across much of the area. The windy cold weather that's going to hit us with that next punch of snow will be arriving after midnight tonight and more so toward daybreak tomorrow. We do have rain showers that are now occurring after a burst of decent snow from the Toledo Metro west and north up into southern Michigan. I've had several reports of three to four inches of snow over toward Williams County up at Hillsdale County, and I do expect we are going to turn sharply colder tonight. Still at 40 degrees as we expected. The warmest point of the day would occur well after dark. I-75 and east were in the lower 40s. Winds have been gusty south and east of the Toledo Metro. Beginning to turn cooler though to the north and to the west. Still looking at wind gusts right now. 30 to 40 miles per hour. And I do expect brisk, windy conditions on Saturday. Those wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. Some snow that will be occurring, but it's the blowing snow that could create some treacherous travel. And that's frigid chill settles in into the upcoming weekend. High Sunday and into Monday, back into the lower teens. The winds could be a big deal this weekend. Let's get over to meteorologist John Birchfield. We've got team coverage on this. And John, we could see some of those wind gusts 50, 55, even up to 60. What are the impacts to be expected? Yeah, Chris, the winds are going to pick up late tonight through early Saturday, and those strong winds up to 60 miles an hour could cause instances of power outages or even some minor tree or structural damage. Overall, the worst of the wind is expected to occur to the south and east of the Toledo Metro during the first half of the day Saturday. Here's a look at some of those locations that will see the brunt of the windy impacts. Again, power outages. We are already seeing several thousand across the viewing area, and we are likely to see additional outages tomorrow. Those north and west of the Maumee River still going to be very windy with 50 to 55 mile per hour gusts. And again, the first half of Saturday is going to be the windiest. The evening finally starting to see some improvement in the windy conditions. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast as we pinpoint those wind gusts. Wind direction shifting to the southwest. So it's going to be blowing from southwest to northeast and that will cause that low water on the western basin of Lake Erie moving out towards the Buffalo side of Lake Erie as well. Through the latter half of the day. We are still going to see some strong winds to the south and east of the metro, gradually diminishing to the north and west through the afternoon, but it's going to be a blustery day and any snow showers that do fall from the sky are going to cause blowing and drifting conditions. As Chris pointed out, even if we don't see a ton of accumulation, that snow that dumps does come down is going to be blowing sideways as a result of these powerful winds and that wind direction going to be due out of the west during the afternoon hours. Coming up in just a few minutes, Chris will pinpoint the cold air that follows and also some some sub zero wind chills that taste of winter coming up in your 10 day forecast. Jeff. Well, of course, this is our first real bout with Mother Nature this winter. We wanted to see just how people were dealing with it today and getting ready for what's to come. Our Andre Norrells joins us live for more on that story. Andre, kind of give us an update. We kind of preface the whole thing you're doing right now. You've got power outages where you are. Yeah, Jeff, we're in the old orchard neighborhood and I mean, there's lots of trees 
in this neighborhood. I actually want you to take a look behind me. You kind of see this tape that they have blocking off this area over here. It's moving because it's starting to get windy out here. But if you look behind that tape, you can kind of see some lights from some trucks working on a down tree that's blocking an entire street here. Now, this caution tape, like I said, blocking the entire intersection here. A viewer who lives in this neighborhood gave us a call and says him and his 90-year-old father have been without power since 5.30 p.m., possibly caused by this down tree. Now, this is something people should be preparing for as temps drop and winds pick up. As the snow was winding down and rain was moving in, we spoke with people at Walt Churchill's Market in Perrysburg. Some were stocking up for the weekend on the chance the weather gets the best of them, but then there were others like Hannah Rinellet. Yeah, I'm not really worried about losing power here in town at all. She lives in Perrysburg, but grew up in the country and is no stranger to power outages. But her mom still lives out in Pimperville. She was getting ready for this weekend by getting the generator out and making sure it was running good to go. Something Jim Schneider with Schneider Sons Electric or the generator guys recommends for those with generators. With the wind and low temps coming, he's preparing to get an influx of calls. People will be calling because they'll be losing power over the weekend, the ice building up on the wires and things like that. So we'll get a lot of calls probably over the weekend and Monday. But he's backed up for a month and recommends those without a generator to get a portable one or speak with your neighbor. The next best thing to have in a generator is the neighbor with the generator. So my neighbor, when he loses power, uh, he comes to my house and, and, and uh, hooks up to my power. If your power does go out, companies like First Energy are preparing to get it back up as soon as possible. We are increasing our staffing levels and securing additional resources to come in and assist our crews with any outages that could occur. Something Rinalette says has been restored pretty quickly in the past, so she won't be getting a generator anytime soon. I think the longest we had was like a half an hour, so it was very nice to get that back on quickly. Now, there are 650 Lucas County Toledo Edison customers without power, and about 500 and 590 of those are here in Toledo. Now, we've gone online to try to see if there's a restoration time, and they can't tell us that yet because they're still assessing the situation. Reporting in West Toledo, Andre Knows, WTOL 11. Andre, good update. Thank you. Remember to download our free WTOL 11 weather app. You can track the latest weather updates right in the palm of your hand. Download it now. Sign up for free alerts for breaking news sent right to your phone. Road conditions a big concern as the weather moves through. Defender was out in it earlier today, catching some of those slushy conditions we were all dealing with. We went up and down the state line, and uh, we were viewing this from South Dixie Highway, just east of Telegraph. There were quite a few slide offs we uh, drove up on, and that serves as a reminder to reduce your speed and be on alert. That all coming from ODOT Cruise. Our, crew, our crews are planning to stay on tonight um, and continue until all that out ice is melted, um, which may take a couple of days. We have a lot of cold temperatures coming up as well. We're also watching high winds, how it may blow around some of that snow. Uh, Chris and John were both talking about, and they say that could make dangerous travel conditions as well. The trees are really going to be something that to keep an eye on as well with these wind gusts. Um, we've had a lot of Actually, we've had a couple of tree limbs fall out on State Route 295, kind of in western Lucas County, um, that have blocked the roadway. So, unfortunately, that's something that we should also be anticipating as a possibility tonight. Um, and then with that wind, like you said, that gusting snow that could be possible, that blowing snow tomorrow going in through continuing through the weekend. Boy, country roads like you saw right there, there's going to be a lot of drifting and blowing. Uh, meanwhile, there is a ban on high profile vehicles on the turnpike for tomorrow. The Ohio Turnpike making that announcement today due to the high wind threat. The ban is in effect. It goes into effect in about 52 minutes at midnight. It'll stay that way until 6 p.m. Saturday along the entire 241 mile stretch. As our weather team has said, gusts could reach 60 miles per hour. Chris. All right, Jeff, we continue on with our alert day that's going to go well through tonight into tomorrow morning and through your Saturday. So be prepared for very windy weather and the return to some harsh winter cold. Let's take a look at Doppler radar. We had a good burst of snow today from the Toledo Metro West and north up into southern Michigan. Have had reports of three to four inches of snow up into Hillsdale County, Williams County over towards Fulton County. Now it varied across the Toledo Metro from about a half an inch on the southeast side of town to as much as three inches to the north and west. Now all in the form of rain. 
across the area as most areas are right around the low 40s. We are going to be turning cooler though as this area of low pressure, very powerful storm system, really begins to whip higher winds into the area. Those winds will gust overnight tonight into tomorrow, 50, 55, up to 60 miles per hour. Look at the lower 40s right now. Hang on to it. Savor it because we not, may not see a reading that warm for the next 10 straight days as cooler air is getting ready to plunge into the picture. And by the time you wake up tomorrow, brew that cup of coffee. It is going to be bitterly cold, falling back into the 20s. Here's the current wind gust about 30 to 35 miles per hour. We expect these are only going to increase overnight tonight and mentioned moments ago some of the power outages where we do have them. They're focused around Sandusky County and Lenaway County have about 2400 uh, customers in Lenaway County that are without power. That becomes a bit of a more concern uh, the colder we get. More winds going to be expected tomorrow, so we'll monitor those power outages and the potential. Gust of 50 to 55 west of I-75. That area east of I-75 where those winds make us up to 60 miles per hour. Blowing snow and power outage is going to be the biggest concern with that occurring. Now we do turn cooler tonight and look at this. A burst of some snow back to the area could time out right around daybreak Saturday. Snow shower is going to be likely even a burst or two of some moderate snow for a brief time could reduce visibilities with those winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour on and off snow showers through the morning. Again, accumulations will be possible, but generally less than an inch of an accumulation with that blowing snow and that bitter cold set to follow. How cold is it going to get? Here's the wind chills you're going to feel by Sunday. Sub zero wind chills and it stays extremely cold into early next week. Monday, Tuesday could be talking double digits below zero. Rain snow showers uh, tapering off tonight. Some additional snow showers toward daybreak tomorrow. 27 the high on Saturday. It turns windy as we go through Saturday. How about Sunday? Beyond our alert day, bitterly cold. 13 degrees on Sunday. Teens for Monday and Tuesday. Those overnight lows near or below zero. And we stay bitterly cold most of next week with highs well below average even for mid-January.